Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I am so excited to do. I'm gonna be doing three looks, one palette. That is with the brand new Odin's Eye and Angelica Nikvis, the Hella palette. Woo! I am so excited about this. When I found out that my friend Angie was teaming up with Odin's Eye, I was super stoked for this palette to come out. I did receive it a bit early in PR and I wanted to get some different looks up with it. I will link Angie's reveal video down below where she talks about the entire palette. I did also mention this in my Will I Buy It video from last week and I had a look in that video with it. I will be doing this look today and then there is a third look in today's video as well. But if you want to hear all about the Hella palette and see three looks with this one, let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. Well, if you <laughs> are familiar with my channel, you know I normally start off my videos with an outfit of the day. It's what I started doing after I moved from Iowa to Las Vegas. Today's outfit of the day is really not all that exciting. Um, so today, today I'm wearing sweatpants and uh, this like cropped hoodie. But in my defense, I did just get back from a hike with my dog who is right here in front of me. It was like. 72 degrees today absolute craziness from someone who's from the midwest and so we went and enjoyed a hike and then i came home and i filmed my second look with the palette and then i thought i might as well film the intro to this that's why i'm just still in my comfy clothes because i was sweating this video is all about the hella palette i'm so excited about this one and yelica has been a friend of mine for many many years now we've been able to meet in person several times even though she did live in sweden she just recently moved to texas she's going to be coming out to vegas to visit me you know i'm going to be excited for that uh and i just think that she is such a gem i love watching her videos they're some of the first that i click on when i go to my youtube page and i i see all the videos that have popped up angie's is always almost always one of the first ones that i'm watching of the day and we have such different makeup tastes when she came out with her collab with kaleidos makeup last year the club nebula palette i was so excited for it i was a little bit intimidated by the palette just because we have such different tastes i'm typically more of a neutral kind of very quick and easy style of girl. I don't do a lot of like liner or lashes or things like that. Um, but you know, it doesn't matter. You don't need to be friends with people who look exactly like you or dress the same way as you or anything like that. So you can just be friends with who they are as a person. And I think Angie is such a great friend. We talk on the regular and I'm just, I'm so, so excited for this one. So I'm going to be doing some close-ups of the palette and also some swatches. And I'm going to give you a little bit of information on when this releases because this video is going to go up before the actual launch of the palette. So the Hello Palette is a part of the Legendary Diversa collection. So I think this is really amazing what Odin's Eye is doing. They've teamed up some with, with some other creators in the past, including Annette's Makeup Corner, who's another friend of mine i purchased her palette that she did with the brand when she released it and it's such a beautiful palette i was so impressed by the quality in there hello palette is going to retail for 43 dollars 90 it's going to launch on the 14th of february at one o'clock swedish time which is 4 p.m pst or 7 p.m est on the 13th i believe that i'm saying that correctly because sweden is ahead of us we on the odin's eye website so i will have all of that linked down below the palette on here is so fabulous when Angie was explaining the concept to me, I just, I, like, I was so into it. The shadows inside, I was really loving on the, the color scheme in here. I will say I was thinking Club Nebula. When I saw this one, I, I'm not as intimidated by this palette as I was the Club Nebula. Even though it ended up being a favorite of mine, Kaleidos has great eyeshadow formulas. Even some of those darker jewel tones, I had no issues using. But once I opened and saw this, I was like, oh my gosh. And Angie was like, don't be scared. You know, don't be scared of it. And I was like, what do you mean? Greens are some of my favorites. So I was really excited to see all the greens. Some of these shimmers and the duo chromes down here are so just magnificently beautiful. I think Angie did such a great job with this palette. I'm so excited to share with you my three looks. So that's a little bit about the palette and also the launch. Again, I'll have Angie's video linked down below if you want even more information on the concept, colors, all of those things. I will link her video, but let's go ahead and jump into the three looks. I'm so excited about this. My heat will turn off in a second. I don't even really know why I have my heat on. I just got back from a walk with my dog and it's super nice outside, uh, but it should turn off at any minute now. Okay, good, maybe now you can hear me. So I did tell Angie that I was gonna do green for my first look, but I'm changing it up just a little bit because I'm filming this 
on the day where I'm gonna film my Will I Buy It and it has my Valentine's Day giveaway tied to it. That should still be open. So if you haven't seen my last Will I Buy It and also on Instagram, I have a big old box of Valentine's Day prizes, the Natasha Denona Retro Palette, the Sigma Ambiance Palette, and also Cheek Palette the new is it hard rock candy rock the new candy rock palette from color pop a bunch of color pop blushes lip products i mean it's like all the new sigma lip masks the lawless lip mask plus all their glosses it is a really really big giveaway so if you haven't seen it check it out but i wanted to do something pink or red for today's video to tie in for the valentine's day giveaway so i'm actually gonna go in with some of the pink shades in here and i think i'm gonna wear my pink blazer which is like a hot pink so i really want to use this shade and have it kind of be the focal point of the look so green look will be number two first gonna pick up that pink shade which is goddess if you heard aries she's uh, she's on her chair behind me I'm gonna pick up uh with the firm shader e57 from sigma let me zoom in a little more there's a little mirror in here too just tap that i'm gonna do all over the eyelid like so i'm gonna use the lighter pink to blend it out so i'm not really worried about like harsh lines or anything like that right now i just want to pack that all over the lid okay mm. Does anyone have any plans for Valentine's Day? I am actually having a Galentine's Day and I'm really excited about it. So um, I'm filming this segment on Tuesday, but I am going out for Galentine's Day this Saturday. It's supposed to be a super cool brunch spot. We have like 10 girls going, so I'm really excited for that. All right, and then I'm going to pick up the lighter pink shade with, this is a Sigma uh, Dream Blending Beauty Bird collaboration. And I'm just going to blend a little bit of that into the crease. Super Bowl is happening. Obviously, I'm very sad that my pack, like, if there was any year <laughs> I thought the Packers were going to win. It was definitely going to be this year. But, you know, I'll still enjoy watching the Super Bowl. I'm excited for both teams to be in it. Some different teams, different players. It's all good. I was able to go to the Pro Bowl, which was super exciting. That was here in Vegas. Look at how beautiful these are blending. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm really liking this. Okay. Getting just a little bit of fallout here, but nothing, nothing extreme. Ooh, that is so fun. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of the bright pink. But I got to go to the Pro Bowl. That was something that's been on my bucket list for years and years. So that was super fun. Went out on like two nights before the Super Bowl with a girlfriend. Don't ask me how, but we ended up at a... It was just the two of us that went. And usually like if we go and we like stand there, like security will take us to a table, which is very nice. Uh, and security came up and was like, would you ladies like to go to a table? And we were like, yes. We would thank you so much. We would like that. He takes us to the New England Patriots table and we end up there with a pro bowler. I was like, this is not where I thought my night was going. And uh, we didn't even realize it until there was a bunch of different teams there, like the Chiefs, the Niners, like George Kittle walked right by me and I was like, George, Iowa, hey, what up? Uh, I didn't actually say anything, please. <laughs> no, I didn't. There's a bunch of different teams there because they would go to the tables and they would start to fly the flag as like the DJ said something. And we were just like, okay, you know, like this is a nice table. We're literally center stage as Ludacris is gonna perform. And then all of a sudden someone comes over with like the bottle service and they start flying the New England Patriots flag. And we were like, but ended up meeting the player. He was super nice. Like it was like, I just, you just never know. I went from being in my pajamas, just having some drinks with my girlfriend at like at where we live, in my PJs thinking, oh, you know, it's going to be a casual Friday to just hanging out with a pro bowl. I, I, I have experience and memory I will never forget, so that was a lot of fun. I am loving how this look is coming out. Hopefully I've been in the camera enough this whole time. Okay. Two shadows, super simple. They both went on really well. I'm excited about that. Okay, I'm gonna grab, this is another one from the Dream Collection, the Dream Eye Perfector. I wanna do, I was thinking about doing an all matte look, but I, I just, I obviously wanna play with a little bit of the shimmers. And I was thinking about using the shade River, just right here. River, which looks like so. I love the name River, because if you can see this kind of like, 
cool duochrome. I just kind of want to pat a little bit along the lid. And then I think I'm actually going to do some liner and lashes today. I'm just going to really try to like step up my game for Angie. So I'm just going to pat a little bit. Ooh, that's super pretty. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I'm going to pat a little bit and kind of focus it right in the center here. Wow. That is really pretty. Ooh, it looks kind of like ethereal. Ooh. See, my problem with doing liner and subsequently lashes is I'll do something. Like, I'll do the eye look. I'll do something. I'll do an eye look, and I'll think that it's so, so pretty. And then I'm too afraid to, like, like, I'm afraid I'll mess it up. Maybe I'll just pop on lashes and not do liquid eyeliner today. But maybe, I, I want to do lashes for sure. Oh gosh. Oh, the shade river. I have a feeling I'm going to just love this one. Oh my gosh, how pretty. Mm. So, so pretty. All right, so I'm just going to dust away just a little bit of fallout on my face. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to dust that away and then I'm going to at least pop on some lashes. Probably just lashes. Just added some lashes. That was stressful enough. I didn't even want to think about the liner. Uh, but I just put on from Sigma. These are their Love Struck Lashes. I like the actual lashes, but I just putting on lashes is not my thing anymore. It's funny because if you used to watch me when I first got onto YouTube, I didn't do my brows, but bet you I did lashes every single day. Like every single video, I'd always do lashes. Wore lashes all through college. Now I just just don't like it. I'm gonna finish off the lower lash line and I'm just gonna do the mixture of the two pink shades on a pencil brush. And I'm just gonna kind of blend those with a Sigma E30. I'm just gonna go really lightly. I just used a little green liner on my waterline. and do a little bit to tie everything in. I know I wanna do a little bit of an inner corner. I think I'm gonna do Hellfire. Oop, this one right here. Right on the inner corner. Just something fun here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add a lip and show you the finished look. All right, well, <clears throat> things took a turn in my bathroom. So I've been seeing a lot of looks with like the crystals around the eyes, I think because Euphoria came back for another season. I don't watch the show, so I have really no idea what I'm talking about. But I've been wanting to do a look lately with these like little crystals. I got them from ColourPop. They came in a PR package a while ago. I like it's Obviously, it's different. And I don't know if I feel like Euphoria or if I feel like... I don't know how it is that I feel, but you know, it happened. Added some MAC World lip liner and then the NARS Santo Domenico gloss on top. I mentioned that in my latest shopping block video because it's on the shopping block right now. So this is the uh, final look for look number one. I hope you like it. I wanted to do something outside of my comfort zone in honor of Angie since we have such different styles, but uh, here's the first look. Off to film a will I buy it video make sure to check that one for a giveaway and then let's hop into look number two welcome welcome okay we are jumping into look number two let's go dog just came in with her Kong I just got back from a we actually went on a hike today my dog Aries and I still a little bit on the sweaty side I just kind of lightly threw some face makeup on but I'm just planning to film this look and then go grab dinner and then come back and keep working I want to do a look with the greens because I love green shadows and we have just like so many nice options in here to choose from. This matte green in Ouroboros, which I'm probably saying wrong, that's beautiful. Golden Bridge is beautiful. Aries is now playing with her toys. She was just snoring. This whole time that I've been working on my computer, my dog has been snoring because we just got home and now she's like, what, you're filming? Let me get involved. I'm first gonna come in with that deep matte green and I'm using the E44 from Sigma. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start to pack this on the outer part of my eye. Just the adventures of Aries continue. She's not drinking water. Our weather has been so nice this week in Vegas. Aries and I took a really nice walk yesterday to be able to let her burn some energy off. She is eight years old and she acts like she is too. It's not weird, but I genuinely enjoy hanging out with my dog. I just, my dog is my best friend, okay? Like, no shame. No shame. That green is beautiful. And then I'm gonna take another, maybe like a smaller blending brush here. This one is just from SLMS, wait, what was this? SLMS Glam. I need to look up her channel. That is a name I have not said in a very long time. 
but I got her brush. Oh my gosh, I need to look up her channel and see what is going on with her. I'm gonna blend it out with a little bit of moss. I also genuinely enjoy being outside. So like being able to do the hike today was so, so fun. Get home so I could film a second look and then I will have one more for you in this video. And then this should be going up on Friday, I think. That's my, that's, that's my goal anyway, that's my hope. I really like that matte green. I'm just gonna bring it a little bit more on the inner corner here. Again, just like a smidge bit of fallout here, like with the first look, but on, even less than that other one. So I'm just gonna dust that away. I feel like that looks really cool just for those two shades. I wasn't really sure how that was gonna go because <laughs> I just never know with me. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna grab an E55 from Sigma and I'm first gonna go into Golden Bridge. Right here, this one, Golden Bridge. Pack this kind of towards the middle part of my eye. These colors are also gonna make me a little bit sad, but you know. That's okay. Little Green Bay colors, little Green Bay action up in here, but you know, it's all good. Hi, hi, hi. To give an update too on my Sephora order, because I originally had on my calendar that Friday's video was gonna be a trying all the new makeup. I placed a really big order from Sephora, and so that's what it was gonna be. And then my Sephora order, only one item shipped my foundation that I ordered. And I had ordered like six products in that order and like right away you know within a few hours it was like your order partially shipped and i was like okay kind of weird but like whatever and then i ordered that on thursday and then the next day friday the fenty lipstick launched so i bought that online and it shipped right away it already got to me i was like okay kind of weird all without the rest of my other sephora order shipping and then today so the Fenty lipstick is in. Today I get an email saying my foundation got delivered, but still the rest of my order hasn't even shipped. And I'm like, this is really bizarre to like to, I understand that there's shipping delays, but even just, it hasn't even shipped out of Sephora. Like that's, that's a Sephora issue, you know? So I'm like, what is going on? And so I actually, I'm going to flip my brush and use a little bit of the floral scents too. I used the like contact form on the Sephora website. I'm gonna pack this right on the center of the lid. Ooh. I used that form on the Sephora website and I was like, you know, I'm just a little bit concerned. I, this is very rare for Sephora to take this long to ship an order, especially with rouge status. Like it's just kind of odd. And she was like, let me look into it. You know, and she's really nice. And I like to think I was nice too. She was like, Oh yes, it is coming from a different warehouse, which is why it's separate from the foundation, but it is being shipped really soon and it'll get there with fast shipping. That's <laughs> what she said. And I was like, okay. I was like, so that doesn't really help me like a whole lot. <laughs> but I was like, all right. I mean, as long as they say like, it is gonna come at some point, then that's kind of really what like all I was looking to hear. Like, is something on back order? What's going on? Literally within the hour, I get an email saying my order shipped. And I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's good. And then I didn't like even check it. I was just like, okay, cool. Like my order shipped, that's great. And then I'm sitting here and this was later in the afternoon. I got another email and it was like, your order is close. And usually you get that like the day before something is going to arrive. And I was like, what do you mean my order's close? It just shipped out. And so I opened that email and sure enough, it's supposed to get to me tomorrow, Thursday. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm so confused as to what happened with that order, but I'm like, okay. I'm still gonna film one more look with this palette and get it up Friday. And then just on Friday, I will use my Sephora order and get that video up either Sunday or like Tuesday of next week or just whenever I can get it up basically. That was bizarre, but just to give you an update on my shipping, that was just like a really weird situation that happened. But okay, this is the look I really wanted to use as many of the greens as I could and those are shimmers. I mean, you saw how easy that was. That was just like pop, 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 pop. And like, that was it. That was that was all that I had to do. So that was fantastic. I'm just gonna add a little bit of liner. Well, I should have brought my liner in here. Do I have liner? No, cause I cleaned. <laughs> now I have nothing around me. Put some liner on and then we'll come back to do the lower lash line. <laughs> I just did some Charlotte Tilbury liner on my waterline and then I'm gonna take uh, the matte green and then I think I'm gonna blend it with a little bit of Wolf, this brown here. So I'm just gonna put those on a Sigma E30. I am going to run that on the lower lash line. 
this a shimmer right here. I'm just gonna do a little bit right on the inner corner, kind of tie it all together. This is what the eye look is looking like before I do my mascara. So I'm gonna add mascara and I'm gonna do my lip combo, the tiniest color pop lip liner you've ever seen in your life, Beeper, and the Sigma lip oil, and then I'll show you the final look. After mascara and lips are on, here is the final look. Look number two, I am loving the greens. I just, I just love green shadows. I love a good green look. I love how easy it was to work with. Even that deep green matte was so easy to play with on the eyes. I'm not a master blender. I don't have a lot of patience and that was so, so easy to use. But those shimmers really, really stole the show. That's what I thought about the palette with Annette's Makeup Corner also, like the shimmers in there are just something else. So loving the way that look number two came out and let's hop over into the third and final look. Welcome, welcome back. We are now doing look number three with the Hella palette. I wanna try to see if I can do something that's gonna be a little bit more on the neutral side, dare I say. I'm gonna grab a Sigma E25 and I am first going to start with Wolf right here. I'm gonna Start to blend this a little bit above the crease and just go back and forth here. I'm also just a little bit, not even sweaty once again, but it's super nice outside. It was like 72 degrees, so I took Aries on a pretty decent walk around the neighborhood and then I just popped in the shower real quick. Just got out, so obviously I didn't wash my hair because, you know, tomorrow is a hair washing day. Not today. I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This one is the Ruffer 13. I really like this kind of smaller blending brush. I'm gonna grab Decay. Grab this one and I'm gonna pack this on the outer part of my eye. And then just kind of blend that back and forth. Ooh. Again, these mattes are super simple to work with and to blend. Ooh, I really like that shade. Ooh, that's fun. It's different. Ooh, I like that. For my shimmer, I think I'm gonna use Complete. This is a ColourPop E3. Okay, and then I'm going to start to pack this onto the lid. This one I'm kind of trying to focus it on the middle outer. Oh, my camera was just like sliding down. That's cool. Do your own thing. It's a really pretty shimmer. Ooh, even if this isn't the most neutral of looks, I still think it's really pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna blend a little bit here. Then I'm gonna grab double-sided, this one right here. I'm just gonna flip the brush over and pack a little bit onto that. I'm gonna put this one on the inner part of my eye and then kind of run it across the top of the crease. Ooh, ooh, this is definitely not gonna be a neutral look. That's cool, that's cool. Oh, this shade is really, really neat though. That would look really pretty all over the lid too. But I kind of like how it fades into the darker. I believe this one, the double-sided, is the multi-chrome from the palette. If I am remembering that correctly from Angie's video. But what a cool shade. Wow, there's... That is really, really neat. Okay, now I'm just having fun with this shade. I still want some of the the darkness towards the outer part of the eye, but man, the shade is too fun. I kind of want to do a look where I'm just using this shadow now. I'm going to grab just my little blending brush. I mean, I really don't need to do much, but that's neat. Okay, that was different than what I was thinking I was going to do, but I think that it's fun. Ooh, okay. Um, I once again forgot to bring my eyeliner out here because I've, I've learned nothing over these last couple of days. So I'm just gonna go do some liner and then we'll finish off the lower lash line. After liner, I'm just gonna keep working with the small refer brush. And then I'm gonna mix together a little bit of that Decay and then also Wolf. And then I'm gonna smudge that on the lower lash line. And I wanna try a little bit of Rebirth. I'm just gonna put that on a small pencil brush. I'm just gonna kinda lightly put this on the inner corner. Okay, I think I just need a little bit of that. Just, I just love having something in my inner corner. Uh, so then this is what the eye look is 
looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and add my mascara and my lip and <laughs> let my hair down from this uh, towel scrunch here. I got my beauty lips back, <laughs> and then we'll see, and then we will see the final look. After mascara and lip is on, this is the uh, final look. And you know what's funny? As I was putting on my mascara, I was like, this look reminds me of something. What is it? I'm gonna give you a second to think. To me, it was the soap culture. I did a look kind of similar to this with the soap culture palette. And I was like, oh, and soap culture just might be on my mind because I literally have the stack in front of me. But I just have filmed the other day ranking all of my Anastasia palettes. That video will be the next one on my channel. It goes up on Sunday. Thinking about Anastasia palettes for this past week or so here. But it just kind of made me laugh. But I was someone who actually liked the subculture palette <laughs> so it wasn't it wasn't a bad memory when i thought of it but something about the mixture of these of these colors it, it just kind of is what made me think of it but i think that this is a really fun look it's definitely different than what i initially was going for but then i started playing with the darker shades and then i just got really excited because everything was going so smoothly and I still think that it came out really pretty. I do still think that you can do some lighter looks in here. Um, and even this river shade that I used in my first look, like that was such a pretty, pretty shadow. Hope that some of these helped you out or gave you some inspo or helped you decide if you want to grab the palette or not. But I've been really happy with all of my looks. Everything has been super easy to create. Um, everything's been so easy to work with. The shimmers in there are just beautiful. And the dual chrome and the multi-chrome, like they're all just so simple to work with and they just really elevate a look like take it to a new level so i think that this palette is beautiful i don't have not used every single shade out of it but all of the different shades that i've used in these three looks they worked out really well for me so those are my three looks with the new odin's eye and yellow Nikvas hella palette thank you so much to odin's eye and angelica for sending this over to me so i could try it out i hope that you enjoyed seeing us some different looks with this one. Other than that though, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.